There is an add-on for Blender out there called Blender AE or Blender Ray. And at first I was like, fine, but, but I don't really need it. Well, with the newest update, I changed my mind and here's why. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Folks, I am excited. I haven't talked about Blender here for quite a while and that is going to change now. First things first, if you like what you're going to see and you want to try it yourself, this add-on is available via aescripts.com. You can find the link in the description below. And now, why have I changed my mind? In short, it's possible to import After Effects tracking data into Blender now. Let me show you how that works. Our journey today starts in After Effects. As you can see, I already created this test comp for us. This is how it looks. Yes, I know. A true masterpiece in cinematography. <laughs> I bet you won't see anything better than this the entire week. And what I also did is I added the camera tracker to this shot. Let me make the track points a little bit bigger so we can see better what we're working with. Now I need to find a good spot to set my ground plane and origin. And I also, let me just select a couple of these. I also want to create a solid and camera. Boom. And what we can do now is create some nulls, maybe one over here, one over here, and I don't know, one on this tree in the back create null. So we have a 3D camera tracker, we have the solid ground plane and we have three null objects. Let me select all of these and then we can jump over into Blender. Here in Blender I first delete this light, X delete, and the camera also, I don't need those. Then I jump over into my output properties, change the frame rate to 25 and the resolution to 38, 40 by 21, whoops, 60. That's what my footage was shot at. Then I jump over into Blender Ray and connect the add-on to After Effects. That's a simple click and boom, they are connected. Easy, right? A second simple click on import layers brings us back to After Effects for a second. If I would like to, I could now add some more nulls, for instance, or yeah, uh, a second solid, or I don't know. I don't think that's necessary. The only thing worth mentioning now is that every layer that is selected in the After Effects comp got imported into Blender. Let's Take a quick look. Here's the camera, the solid, and one, two, three nulls. Let's take a look through the camera. And as you can see, Blender Ray already jumped to the last frame of this short sequence. That is 176. And it looks like it did a pretty dang good job, if you ask me. Let me load in the footage as a background image. Movie clip, open, da, 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 da. here it is. Look at this. That's a solid track. All done with After Effects. Pfft, cool. Now let's do something with it. Shift A, I add in a UV sphere, tap into edit mode S to scale it times four. I want to place it somewhere over here and control F to shade smooth this sphere. Tap back into object mode and now I want to give it a shading. And that is exactly what I did in the following minutes, but I do not want to torture you guys too much. And as this is not a video about shading in Blender, we can speed this whole part up. 
The point of this video is that Blender A makes it super easy to work with After Effects camera tracking data inside of Blender and then you can export your 3D objects out and do the rest of the work in After Effects again, if you like to, like I do. Back in After Effects and now double click into the project window to import my PNG sequence. There it is. And now I drag it on top of everything and oh, it seems like it's too short and the tracking seems a little bit off. Don't panic. I just need to interpret the footage to 25 frames per second and we're good. And now it's just a matter of usual compositing work in After Effects. Adding effects, color grading, all that jazz, you know? And that, my friends, is it for this week. I really hope you liked it. And if so, <laughs> thank you very, very much. I see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for now.